Hi, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate it um, that you watch these videos. I hope you find them useful, and if you do, please like them, share them with your friends, um, subscribe so you never miss them. Um, if you don't, that's okay. Lots of other really good readers here on YouTube too. So we'll just get started. Um, we're doing Saturday and Sunday combined today um, as far as Saturday goes. First thing, we've got the Nine of Pentacles. This to me, and every tarot reader does read cards differently, um, but to me, this is about needing to spoil yourself. You have to put yourself first sometimes. And this could be, you know, getting your nails done, getting your hair done, buying yourself a new outfit, something that you really want, something that makes you feel good about you, okay? It's not just um, taking care of yourself in order to, um, like something that you would always do. It's not taking a bath. You know, it's not taking a shower. It's um, something that's a little bit of a stretch. It's like actually spoiling yourself. Now, this is needed today. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of confidence. It'll just really, really boost your self-esteem. So that's very important. Now, as you're doing that, it's a good distraction from some of the bull crap that might be going on. It feels like the last couple weeks have been really heavy, and I don't know if it's because we're coming up on the election and there's a lot of fear. Um... There's, you know, fear and hate mongering and a lot of things like that going on and, you know, spewing insults back and forth. And it's just been really heavy um, on the world. And maybe there's something going on with astrology, too. I don't know. Um, 2016 has been a tough year for a lot of people. It's been um, definitely a year of lessons for a lot of people. Uh, but, you know, it's almost over. But we do need this distraction, taking care of ourselves in a very special way, um, spoiling ourselves a bit, um, like I said, as a distraction from what's going on in our life right now, okay? And this card here, the chameleon, says, stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. Now, what makes us unhappy? Oftentimes, it's trying to control things that we cannot control. This came up in our daily readings earlier this week, too. So, um, you know, if things would just always go our way, we would be happy, we would think, right? But some things we just can't control. Um, some things, sure, we can. But the more that we grasp at that control and fail the more unhappy we become. So this is one of those things um, in your life right now that maybe you just kind of have to sit back and wait for it to work itself out and distract yourself from like that itch to want to try to control things. Now our color energy for Saturday is indigo and it says improving your vision. Now this could be your physical vision. You could use the card that way, this color energy. Um, it's also though like your thought patterns as well. It helps you achieve focus. This is a great color to use, a great color energy for people who have ADD, ADHD. It can heal depression and anxiety. It's a new way of looking at things. Um, I don't know if you've heard of indigo children, but they look at things totally different. You know, they have like innate psychic abilities and um, often are empaths. So they see everything from an emotional standpoint. So maybe that's a challenge for you today. Um, and we'll do the daily affirmation when we get to the end of the video right after Sunday as well. Okay, um, but this is a great color energy to um, actually heal your eyes as well if you have eye issues. Now, um, moving on to Sunday, excuse me, sorry, I placed them under my laptop. Okay, moving on to Sunday, our first card that we have here is um, Justice. Okay, so finally on Sunday, you know, justice is being served. We are getting, you know, what we've <laughs> put out there. So if you've kind of been an a-hole, it might not be the best day for you. But if you've been, you know, really doing well for other people, you've been praying for other people, you've been kind to others, um, maybe a decision has to be made and on a Sunday, I don't see this like in the court systems. I see this more in like personal interactions, um, things like that, friendships, maybe conflicts that you have with family members, things like that. But it just all kind of works itself out today. Um, now, we have an angel card today. And this is uh, Archangel Azrael, okay? And now, he, do you see that castle right there in the back? Here, let me 
put the card on this side so that I can have both hands because I don't want to lose track of. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I should have been more prepared. <laughs> Do you see that angel or the, um, the cloud castle here behind him? Like just floating there. It's about your dreams. Okay. What is it that you dream of? This card is asking you to follow your natural gut instincts, your intuition, even when logic defines, defies it, you know, like when you have a gut instinct, like a feeling about something, it's usually right. And there's a reason why you're having that, even if it doesn't make logical sense. Now, um, if you are the one to have to make a decision today, this is a big shout out from your angels telling you, please follow your gut instincts. We are, we're sending you messages. You know, if you feel it, if you really feel it in your gut, that's our advice to you. That's our guidance, you know, because we want things to work out for the best possible outcome for you. That's what we do. You know, angels, that's what they do. They, they're around to guide you, to love you, to put you on the best path possible. And even when you make mistakes, to just be there to comfort you because you are human, right? So um, let me get your color energy over here. Um, let's see. So your color energy today is gray. And we've had this one a lot recently. It says learn to scan your body. So this is about figuring out where your blockages are and trying to eliminate those blockages. Often blockages are caused by fear, okay? And maybe it's fear that we're going to make the wrong choice. And so that's why we're starting here with please, you know, go with your gut this time so that you can have a fair outcome, something fair to you and to other people, compromise, things like that. Um, if it makes logical sense to do it a different way, I mean, you might go that way instead because you fear trusting your intuition that maybe it's not correct. However, this card, Asriel, he really tells you that um, the more that you go with your gut, the more that you trust it, the more accurate it will become, okay? So we've got gray, learning to scan your body. Now I'm going to give you your daily affirmations for the gray and the purple. So Saturday is um, the purple, the indigo, and it says, Divine intelligence, please allow what I have seen in my vision to manifest in the perfect time and in the perfect way. So remember how we were talking about with Azrael, this castle here, this dream that we want to manifest. We can use this both days actually, okay? Envision what it is that you want. Think about that. And then use the purple energy and then continue to use it on Sunday if you wish. Um, and then on Sunday with our gray energy. It says, Divine Intelligence, please release all stuckness and limitation from my life so that I can welcome freedom, creativity, and well-being. Okay? Um, so really, personally, I would use purple Saturday. I would use gray on Sunday and then purple again. Okay? Or indigo <laughs> again on Sunday um, for the best outcome because once those blockages are kind of cleared, maybe our vision becomes even more um, clear and focused. And remember what Azriel says, the more that we trust our intuition and we go with our gut, the more accurate it becomes. Okay? So I hope that you find this helpful. I hope that you have a fantastic weekend and that next um, week is much lighter for a lot of you. Uh, but remember this card here. Everything's going to work out okay. And this it doesn't necessarily mean that you will see outcomes on Sunday, but maybe you make the decisions on Sunday that set you up for um, justness, for things to work out your way in the next coming week. So best of luck, love and light. I will see you on Monday. Bye.